Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mikhail and I'm representing the Alpha team uh, in uh, Educational Solutions. Okay, just a brief uh, summary of uh, some of the goals in this sprint. Uh, so the styling improvements in the Gradebook Setup page. Uh, the purpose of this issue was to modernize the appearance of the Gradebook Setup page, improve the visual hierarchy to clearly outline the relationship between the items uh, in the Gradebook Setup page and generally uh, create a consistent user experience between the pages in Gradebook. Uh, next slide, please. Um, we also had the goal to uh, improve the column sorting in the Grader report uh, because currently it's not very consistent, which was identified during the user testing. So um, some columns, um, most of the columns have anchor links in the header and some of them can be used to uh, toggle the sorting functionalities, but some of them, when you click on the same header anchor link, uh, you are taken to the activity page, which is quite inconsistent uh, behavior. So after this issue is integrated, we'll have a more consistent uh, user experience when it comes to the sorting. And once user click, users click on the anchor link in the header, it will always uh, trigger the sorting uh, while to not lose the existing behavior uh, that's uh, provided with those links uh, that lead to the activities. We're gonna place those links under the newly introduced um, action menus, as you can see on that uh, screenshot. And we're also providing an alternative way of um, uh, sorting uh, the columns by adding ascending and descending options in the same uh, action menu. Next slide, please, Adrian. Hey, Okay, so we have a, a UX update uh, in terms of the user um, testing and research that was done for the Greybook setup page. Uh, so we have uh, already some prototype solutions and uh, Barbara will uh, guide you through that. Over to you, Barb. Right, thanks, Neil. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Barbara. I'm one of the UX designers here at Moodle HQ, particularly for um, the Alpha team. So uh, just to give you um, uh, an introduction of what we're going to be uh, seeing on the prototype, uh, it will be in including all the indicators that we've added in the grade gradebook setup. And then we're going to be uh, showing how we have actually improved the way to add the grade item in categories without having to leave the page so that you can instantly see the outcome of your um, your decisions. And then we're going to be showing how now that um, categories are collapsible compared to the current behavior. And so we're also going to be showing you how you can actually move um, grade items and categories, um, either just one item or multiple. So let me share my screen. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, um, <clears throat> we're gonna be, you're gonna be seeing here more um, icons. Uh, this is to indicate status of these great items. So um, the first big thing is um, the percentage here during the test, um, when we ask them to um, override, they don't actually know why things are changing even though they only change one thing. And this is basically to show that what they're changing is actually the percentage. And this came out so many times. And so we're, we're going to be adding this um, percent here. And then the next thing is that we're also going to be adding um, this locked icon and hidden icon. Current behavior, when on current behavior, when you actually hide or um, locked grade item, you don't see the outcome. It's as if you didn't do anything. You can, you can only tell when you um, go to the page, like the edit page, to see if they're hidden or locked. So uh, we're improving that experience by showing them the state of their grade item and categories. On top of that, um, we're also showing um, the, the weight, like the aggregation. So here we're showing them aggregated natural, or if they choose a different one, like means of grade, this is they're going to see it here as well and the decisions whether to include or exclude the empty grades plus dropping lowest grades or not. So basically what they will have an idea of the decisions they've, they've made, they've set up for the categories and grade items on this page without having to leave the page. And I think um, 
with that, I'll show you how you can actually add a grade item or modify this grade item without leaving a page. So from here, uh, you probably, for some of you, you probably noticed that uh, we have cleared up this um, tertiary navigation here and added everything here. So if you need to add anything, you just have you see just one icon, and then from here you can select like which item do you want to add specifically. So adding grades here. Um, we have actually made it super lean to make it easy for um, new users to, you know, consume this information. So we have here just the grade item and then the grade type, and then the minimum and the maximum, and then the extra credit, assuming that once they have added the, the, the maximum grade, they can decide whether it's going to be for extra credit or not. And then they can, they have now the option to um, hide and lock here on this uh, model and then they can see they can choose where uh, to put it either in the course category or the subcategory another thing is that um, we we've made it really um, streamlined and so if you want more information or if you want to set more items then you can click show more and then that will bring you to the the current page, which is is just quite which which is quite long, so yeah, this will save them some time. And then next is adding category. Here you would you would just um, see um, all this information that you, you currently see on your table, where you have the category name, aggregation, exclude empty grades drop the lowest, hidden, locked, and then parent. If you notice by now that whatever you're seeing on the model is what you see on the table, it will reflect on the table. Next, um, uh, let me see. Okay, next thing is um, we made the categories collapsible. So that includes the course as well. So from here, um, you would see that um, you can actually expand and collapse this, which is not happening in the current version or current behavior. So you would notice that um, here you would you see the course total here, I mean assessment or category total, but then when you collapse, that will move here on the same level, just so when you look at the numbers, it would all be tallied. And also, um, we've done the same thing for the course category, where when you um, collapse this, you would see the max grade and weight. So pretty much the same, you can use the same component for both um, course category and subcategory. Now moving on to, um, yep, um, moving grade items and categories. So this is based off the, um, the project funded by the MUA, the Bog Edit. It's not exactly like that, but some of it we picked up from that project that was um, uh, designed by um, Sabina. So here, you can actually um, select one or two activities or categories. I'm just going to show you how it looks at the moment. So I select here. And then now you see this um, chunky uh, footer with the move. Uh, this is somewhat different to Sabina just because during the testing, it was failing with uh, the current design. So we, we, we needed to modify it. And so here um, you can select to move, or I'm gonna show you one more thing. Like I'll select another thing here, another great item. And then when you move, it opens up the, the modal. And so this model is what you see on the course page as well. Uh, but then we've added this um, um, activity icons here because there is like a uh, disconnect from when you're seeing it from the table and suddenly on the model, you don't see this association with the activity name and the activity type. And from here, you can actually collapse and then add. But here you would have to, select the activity itself and then it will be added after this selected activity and now to show you how it looks like and we've added those uh, two activities after 
the selected um, grade item. So with that, uh, one more thing. I'm just going to show you last thing. Um, I'll make it quick. Uh, this is also how you can move um, individual items. So when we ask testers how to, uh, when you ask testers to move items, they expect that they'd be able to move it the same way they move it on the grade, um, the, the course page. So they expect that from this drop down, they would see move. And then from there, they would see this uh, model, which is exactly the same thing on the um, course page. So this is now going to be the same for multi-select and just one item to move. And I think I've covered pretty much everything. <laughs>